Hello and good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Here's an update to our severe weather risks as we go through your Thursday and the track and timing of any storms with the latest. Stay tuned. Hutch's weather coming up right now. now a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Thank you to my fine sponsors at Robert Gibb and Sons. Here's some good news. The severe weather risk, this yellow area you see here is a level two and severe weather uh, scale of five. And level two means we'll see some more widespread thunderstorms down in parts of the Nebraska region, down into Kansas. For us, the green is a level one, meaning storms, yeah, they might flirt with severe criteria as we go into your afternoon and your evening. Now let's take a look at some model guidance to help us digest what we can expect as we go through our day. First and foremost, as we go through, we could have some morning showers and storms exiting the region, mainly off into parts of Minnesota. This is not the main event that will be taking place. In the afternoon, heating of the day with south winds will be terribly hot. 90s, humid, sticky. The air will be juiced and fully loaded. But the problem is, will storms form? And models are backing off on that risk here, meaning we will be capped in the atmosphere. We will have a cold front making its way through as we go through the late night hours tonight. And those showers and thunderstorms could be moving through as we go through the remainder of our day. So it does look like we'll have a chance at a few storms here and there as this cooler air works its way through on Friday and into Saturday morning. And that's our best chance. So now here's what you need to know for your day today. Day. Number one, get ready for temperatures this morning to be in those muggy 60s, south winds increasing, and a chance for some thunderstorms as we go through the afternoon hours. I cannot rule out a little bit here and there, but the brunt of the activity with the strong potential, well to the south of us, moving west to east, 92 Fargo, 90 Grand Forks on a sizzling hot day. Tune in tonight to meet Hutch's Weather Kid this week, and I cannot wait to introduce you to the dandy Emmy Michael Bust from S.G. Reinertson, of course. Make sure you tune in. Drop a comment for these kids as they really give their best effort to help Hutch figure out the weather. Your seven-day planner shows that we'll have a chance at a couple storms being strong on our hot Thursday. We cool off on Friday. Can't rule out a passing shower or rumble of thunder as that cool front moves through, as you saw. But by and large, it looks fairly quiet compared to the last three or four Fridays in a row. Cooler Saturday, warming right back up on Sunday. Monday is our next chance for some organized storms. I've got a highlight on that day as temperatures kiss 90 degrees once again. Hey, stay informed with the weather anytime, no matter when you're there on hutchesweather.com. It's the one-stop shopping for all your weather information. And again, while you're here, please keep my fine sponsors in mind, like Slim's Tree Care. Do you have some tree work you need done? Give Slim a call. Click on the logo here. You'll find out all the contact information. Slim is an experienced tree climber, and he's the person who can make sure that that tree falls where it's supposed to fall. He's also tree risk assessment qualified to help you decide what the best solution is for that tree you have in mind. Give Slim a call. Tell him Hutch sent you. For now, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Thanks for joining me on this Thursday morning. We'll keep you updated right here and on Hutch'sWeather.com.